review of Halo Mega Bloks UNSC Fire Team Stingray with Ben from the SS Motion. I haven't done a review on the channel before, but I do look after the Instagram page, so if you recognise the name, that's probably where it's from. So, if we take a look at the set, we know that this is UNSC Fire Team Stingray. It is a spring 2016 set, and I've managed to get it a bit early as Toys R Us in the UK somehow have already got them in. And they've also got this Covenant, the Covenant one, which I'll be reviewing in just a bit. So if we look at the set, we can see off the bat that we have four red Spartans. We have a, um, a Recon Spartan, a Warrior Spartan, an Oceanic Spartan, and a Copperhead Spartan, which is also Vale's armour. This one is just a recolour. So if we look at the back of the box, we can also see, <coughs> sorry about that, that this set also can includes a turret, similar to the one from Halo 3 ODST. But this one contains... Um, sorry, not contains, has a anti-aircraft cannon on it rather than a Gauss cannon. We also have the Fire Team Stingray flag and a closer look at the weapons included in this set. So we have, if I just move the camera, we have, we have the Hydra, the tactical shotgun, two frag grenades, a pistol and a saw. The Hydra is a new weapon, so I very much look, I'm looking forward to unboxing this and seeing it for myself. I will join you back in a minute. Welcome back to this review of the UNSC Fire Team Stingray. So I've opened the box and put it all together. What strikes you most of all is the amount of new stuff in this set. For a 15 pound set, you do get a lot of new things. Firstly is the UNSC Spartan Copperhead. This figure is essentially vital, if it'll focus. There we go. Um, this figure is essentially Spartan Veil, but with some shoulders. However, it does make a very nice addition to the set and adds some diversity as it is the female mould underneath. <coughs> Secondly, we have the Recon, which a lot of fans have been asking for for a very long time now. Uh, this figure, I believe, uses the Recon head from the slightly older Halo 4 Recon, but non-SP mould. The body and the, all of the body, the shoulders are brand new too, so... As a figure, it is very nice, and I hopefully will see it in some other colours after in the main wave. Uh, next, we have the Warrior Spartan, which mine came a little bit defective. Some of the armour doesn't quite go on right, given it's a bit of an odd pose. So, this figure has been seen in a couple of sets, but it's still quite relatively new, so I do not mind getting it in the new colour. But then, sadly, we come to the Oceanic Spartan, which I've given the flag, because... The flag doesn't stand up on its own, sadly. Uh, this figure we have seen a lot of in the last few waves. I would have preferred a Defender, as that's a nice new mould we could have got in this set. But three out of four figures being relatively new is something I can't really complain about. So what, um, the weapons of this set. We get the Tactical Shotgun, which if you've probably bought any Halo set in the last two years, you'd have got quite a few of so we don't need to look at that very much the saw which is getting commoner but that's not a problem i mean there is only a finite amount of weapons in the halo universe so they can't just make things up because that wouldn't work we have a pistol as you can see all these weapons are in plain back apart from the grenades which you've got two of in the set there in green the pistol could do with the remold, given that this is the Halo CE one, and in Halo 5, the CE pistol is a different weapon to the Halo 5 one, since this, I believe, is supposed to be a Halo 5 orientated set. And lastly, we come to the Hydra. So if we can get this to focus, because this is new. Um, I have mucked around with it a little bit, and it fits in the figures very nicely. Um... They can wield it properly. Some of the other weapons, like the concussion rifle, for example, the figures really do struggle to hold properly. But this fits really nicely, and I really hope we see it in quite a few more sets coming, because I do like it in-game as well as in the figure form. And we also get two grenades. I'll just use one. I mean, we've all seen grenades before. They've been around for a long time. So if we move... The figures to the side we have a look at the other focus of this set which is this turret here uh, it is a halo 3 odst turret but with a anti-aircraft gun not the gauss cannon 
Um, it does swivel 360 degrees, but it is quite a stiff joint on mine. I'm not sure if this is just my example or others, but this is good and bad because if you pick it up, for example, the turret doesn't flail around. My only only complaint with this set, apart from the Oceanic, is if we if I just move the camera quickly, this might be a bit juttery. Underneath the cannon, you can see there's this ring that the figure can stand into. On the box art, it doesn't show this little knobbly bit coming out the side. So when I was putting it together, I was a bit shocked at that, because I'm presuming this is an older piece used from a previous set. I don't know which set. If you do know where this piece has been used before, please comment below. So, in conclusion, however, I would highly recommend this set. It is good. I cannot complain with it. I'm very happy that I bought it at full price. That is, oh, I'll move his flag out of the way. At full price, that is, because the fire teams have been in the UK, have been on sale for a very long time, and it just so happens that they've gone back in price just for this. I have got this at Toys R Us, and they did have another one. They don't have many currently. They did have a lot of the older fire teams, but not many of these, as these are probably selling very nicely at the moment, given Halo 5 has just come out. Um, a lot of people, I imagine, will buy this set as because of the Copperhead Spartan, also known as Veil, vale, because they will be using it as Veil, vale, because the Hero Packs aren't that widespread yet. Um, yeah, this set can be used in a Warzone diorama quite easily, red versus blue. So I'm just kind of hoping that we get a blue fire team to accompany this in the next wave, because then we really will be pitting SP red versus blue figures together as we have a lot of blue old articulation figures, but not many new ones. So thank you for watching my first ever review. Comment below how well it went. I'm very interested to hear your feedback. Have a look on the channel. There should also be the review of the Covenant, of the Covenant tet in the background there. There we go. I've just put it there. It's not a very good angle. Um, yeah. So go and watch that. Comment how you thought. Would you buy it? Wouldn't you buy it? Yeah. Thanks for watching.